Mass this morning is offered for the repose of the soul of John A. O'Neill, Jr. And because it's the first Friday of the month, we will be using the uh, votive Mass of the Sacred Heart of Jesus. The designs of his heart are from age to age to rescue their souls from death and to keep them alive in famine. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. May the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. My brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins. And so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mystery. Lord Jesus, from your wounded side flow streams of living water. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ Jesus, by your blood upon the cross and from your side, the world has been washed of all its sin and made new again. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord Jesus, in the recesses of your heart, we find refuge and forgiveness of our sins. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to life everlasting. Amen. Let us pray. Clothe us, Lord God, with the virtues of the heart of your Son, and set us aflame with his love, that conformed to his image, we may merit a share in the eternal redemption. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God, forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the letter of St. Paul to the Philippians. Join with others in being imitators of me, brothers and sisters, and observe those who thus conduct themselves according to the model you have in us. For many, as I have often told you, and now tell you even in tears, conduct themselves as enemies of the cross of Christ. Their end is destruction. Their God is their stomach. Their glory is in their shame. Their minds are occupied with earthly things, but our citizenship is in heaven, and from it we also await a Savior, the Lord Jesus Christ. He will change our lowly body to conform with his glorified body by the power that enables him also to bring all things into subjection to him. Therefore, my brothers and sisters, whom I love and long for, my joy and crown, in this way stand firm in the Lord, beloved. The word of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. I rejoice because they said to me, We will go up to the house of the Lord, and now we have set foot within your gates, O Jerusalem. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. Jerusalem built as a city with compact unity. To it the tribes go up, the tribes of the Lord. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord. According to the decree for Israel to give thanks to the name of the Lord. In it are set up judgment seats, seats for the house of David. Let us go rejoicing to the house of the Lord.
the Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, A rich man had a steward who was reported to him for squandering his property. He summoned him and said, What is this I hear about you? Prepare a full account of your stewardship, because you can no longer be my steward. The steward said to himself, What shall I do now that my master is taking the position of steward away from me? I am not strong enough to dig, and I am ashamed to beg. I know what I shall do, so that when I am removed from the stewardship, Welcome me into their homes. He called in his master's debtors one by one. To the first he said, How much do you owe my master? And he replied, One hundred measures of oil. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Sit down and quickly write one for fifty. Then he said to another, and how much do you owe? He replied, One hundred measures of wheat. He said to him, Here is your promissory note. Write one for eight. And the, the master commended that dishonest steward for acting prudently. For the children of this world are more prudent in dealing with their own generation than the children of light. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise, Praise to you, Lord, Lord Jesus Christ. I've always found this the most puzzling of Gospels. What is the Lord asking of us? Is he telling us to be dishonest? Is he urging us to think more like the children of this world rather than the children? Not in the slightest. What he is doing is, you know, he's teaching us through the reversal. So here's this steward who really knows himself. He knows that he has no humility, and he knows that he has no strength. He must have been, as we might say, a very comfortable fat cat. And what we learn from him is to truly know who we are and then to address it, to do something about it. That is where we, this gospel is again so completely uh, conformed to the letter from St. Paul to the Philippians. You see, just as we can fall Pray to the sins of gluttony and, you know, giving in to all of our passions, certainly in hedonism, through the example of those around us, we are given what we have to do and to remember that our citizenship is in heaven. And we wait for all of this to be changed. We await to be totally and radically conformed to Christ as we behold Him and the Father in the presence of the in a beatific vision. But the, the steward comes back. What is it in your life and mind that we simply know we have to address and change? The Savior says to us, do it. I'm currently taking a course for pastors. It's called Pastors Boot Camp. Um, I've actually learned a great deal from it, and there's one more week to it. But yesterday we talked about the virtues that a really good pastor has to have. The foundation of it all is discipline, and then on this side is courage, and on this side is wisdom. 
And we talked about a number of different things. The discipline, you know, the need for a solid and constant prayer life, a plan of operation, the way you share your vision, constantly repeating the vision. And then on this side about being courageous, one of the presenters said, you have to be willing to be bold and to be fearless. That's my Achilles heel. For all the bluster that is Jordan James Kelly, I, as I said in the class yesterday, I feel like I know what I have to do, but I don't want to be beat up anymore. Hence, the architect and I spent three and a half hours yesterday afternoon about that. And he said to me, Father, you're going to have to just make a decision. Those are the marching orders deep inside of me, deep inside of each one of us. Do you lack discipline? Do you lack courage? Do you lack wisdom? What is it that's holding you back? What's your Achilles heel? We need only look to Jesus, who gives us all the strength we need, and who teaches us how to be wisely courageous if we have the discipline to confront our fears. May you and I be both so blessed. Pray that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. O God, Father of mercies, who because of the great love with which you loved us, with untold goodness gave us your only begotten Son, Grant, we pray, that being perfectly united with him, we may offer you worthy homage through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you. And, and with, with your spirit. spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It, it is right, right and just. It is truly right and just our duty and our salvation. Always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, 
Almighty and the Eternal God, through Christ our Lord. For raised up high on the cross, he gave himself up for us with a wonderful love, and poured out blood and water from his pierced side, the wellspring of the church's sacraments, so that the one over to the open heart of the Savior, we might draw water joyfully from the springs of salvation. And so, with all the angels and saints, we welcome you as without, we praise you as with out and we acclaim. Holy, 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 Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are the Holy of Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the Jew fall, so that they may become for us the body and the blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took the bread and giving thanks broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this all of you and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith Save us, Savior of the world, before on your cross and resurrection, you have set us free. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of everlasting salvation, in giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and to minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and the blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world, and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, Pope, and Thomas, and Robert, our bishops, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection, and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to the eternal life, and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. <clears throat> through him, and with him, and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. Amen.
the Savior's command and form by the Word of God, we dare to say, Our, Our Father, Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church. And graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you all. And, and with your spirit. Lamb of God. You take, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world. Grant us peace. Thus says the Lord, Let whoever is thirsty come to me and drink. Streams of living water will flow from within the one who believes in me.
Let us pray. Make partakers in your sacrament of charity. We humbly implore your mercy, Lord, that we may be conformed to Christ on earth and merit to be co heirs of his glory in heaven, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Amen. The Lord be with you and, and with, with your spirit. spirit. May Almighty God bless you. The Father, and the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. Go in peace. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Sing Michael the Archangel, Archangel defend us in battle. Be our protection against the wickedness and snares of the devil. May God rebuke him, we humbly pray. And do thou, O Prince of the Heavenly Host, by the power of God, cast into hell Satan and all the evil spirits who prowl about the world, seeking the ruin of souls. Amen.